Hey what's up everybody welcome to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you some work I did on the Jolande 2 chassis I have here and that's because it was causing some damage to my battery packs. Now I am running the nickel metal hard drive battery still and I'd like to draw your attention to this part here as you can see there's a big gouge in here I've actually put it back in but as you can see if you look there really closely it's gone straight through the protective sleeve here and you can actually see the actual cell inside. And the same with this side as well, it's actually punctured the protective sleeving so I'm going to have to either repair that or get a new pack. And I'll show you exactly what happened. So if we look here this is a Jolande 2 chassis, this is in its original form before any modification has been done. And this is where the battery pack normally sits. These two straps are tightened up and they hold the battery pack in place. And when I was playing with my crawler, I didn't tighten these down enough or they wasn't tightened down enough. And what happened was there was some movement in the pack there, as you can see, just like that. Now, if you look really closely here, you can see how the chassis is quite abrupt there when it ends. And this edge here is quite aggressive and quite sharp, the same as this edge here and the two edges there and there. You can see how the pen knocking into it can gouge into the pen there. So all I did to remedy this problem was to take some material off here and here. You see how I've angled those slopes down there. All I did was take this screw off here and there's another screw there. I took that off and this plate comes off. And then I could take down some material on these areas as you see here. After I took the material off using a Dremel, I then sanded the edges off just to make sure they were really, really soft. I was working down in the grits, going from a 600 grit, in the end finishing off with a either 1000 or 2000 grit sandpaper. And that made sure this was really, really soft and there are no aggressive edges. And so when I put my pack in there, if it does bang into it, the sharp edge isn't so aggressive anymore and it won't cut into this, hopefully. But that was just a tip to help you guys out there. I didn't want this happening to anyone else, especially any newcomers to the hobby out there, because it is quite upsetting when you've got a pack and everything's new and this goes in there and you're playing around and you forgot to tighten these down enough and they start moving about and damaging the packs, whereas these um, aren't even used that much. I was going quite crazy when I was playing with this. I was aggressively starting and stopping and almost wheelieing the thing, which you shouldn't really do, but I was having loads of fun with it. So uh, in the end, I did that. So I hope this video helps someone out there. Thank you for watching.